Hello friends, I am Rishab Maji and today we will discuss about, uh, about a reverse Carnot cycle. Uh, previously, uh, we discussed about um, Carnot cycle. Uh, that was the main funda of heat engine. Um, and uh, today we will discuss about reverse Carnot cycle. That is the main funda of refrigeration and air condition. Actually, uh, we can see the uh, two diagram of uh, PV and TS. This is a PV diagram and this is TS diagram. Actually, this is the line of pressure and this is volume line. And, and this is a temperature line and this is um, entropy line. Actually, this is T1 equals to T4 and this is equals to T2 equals to T3. This is the point. And, and this is the entropy of uh, S1 equals to S2 and here uh, S4 equals to S3 so this is uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 this uh, 4 process uh, is going on cyclically uh, an arrow 1 to 2 is isentropic um, uh, compression sorry expansion isentropic expansion process isentropic expansion this is isothermal expansion this is uh, isentropic compression and this is isothermal compression this is the four process. Uh, first, uh, one to two is um, uh, isentropic expansion. Two to three is isothermal expansion. Three to four is uh, isentropic compression. And four to one is isothermal compression. Um, and according to PV diagram, we see that uh, the TS. Uh, no, we we see, see also the TS diagram. That is, um, one to uh, two is uh, fall of temperature. Then uh, two to three is uh, increase the um, entropy and 3 to 4 is increase um, temperature and at last 4 to 1 is decrease entropy okay now uh, if we see that the first stage of uh, uh, reverse Carnot cycle first stage is Isentropic expansion. As this process is isentropic expansion, one to two is isentropic expansion. There is no question of heat added and heat reject. <coughs> there is no question of heat added and heat reject. And uh, second step is uh, isothermal expansion process. Second stage. So uh, there is the um, uh, heat absorbed by the air during isothermal expansion process heat absorbed q2 to 3 is equals to uh, t2 s3 minus s2 because of uh, this is uh, t2 this is 2 to 3 is isothermal expansion process this is 2 to 3 is isothermal expansion process uh, so uh, the uh, heat absorbed uh, by the uh, air is uh, T2, um, uh, sorry, uh, has, uh, T2 and uh, S3 minus S2. T2, S3 minus S2, and T2 equals to uh, T2 equals to T3. Here we see that T2 equals to T3 because of that T2 and T3 is in same line 
at temperature line so t2 equals to t3 so we can say that t3 is 3 minus s2 and the third stage is we can say we can see um, isentropic compression third stage is third stage i mean 3 to 4 is isentropic compression here third stage is 3 to 4 is isentropic uh, compression isentropic compression so as this process as this process is isentropic compression 3 to 4 uh, 3 to 4 is isentropic compression i mean here uh, 3 to 4 is uh, isentropic compression so there is no question of heat attend and heat reject uh, be because of this process is isolated process so um, uh, no heat added and no heat rejected and at last the process is 4 to 1 this is the fourth stage of this cycle um, this is the isothermal compression process 4 to 1 is isothermal compression process here 4 to 1 is isothermal compression process here we can see that the temperature line t1 and t4 is the in same, same line so t1 equals to t4 uh, so uh, we can say the heat um, uh, added by the or oh, sorry heat add, uh, rejected by the uh, system is uh, heat uh, is fourth stage fourth stage heat rejected this is isothermal isothermal compression so heat reject is equals to q 4 to 1 is equals to t4 s4 minus s1 here uh, this process is the last stage at uh, 4 to 1 this is isothermal compression process uh, the um, heat uh, rejected by this uh, system or this air is uh, t4 uh, uh, into uh, s4 minus s1 uh, or we can say that uh, t4 equals to t1 t4 equals to t1 So we can say T4 equals to T1 into uh, S4 minus S1. So work done by this system is uh, heat rejected minus heat absorbed. Okay. So therefore uh, work done is equals to heat rejected minus heat absorbed. So T1 into S4 minus S1 minus uh, T3 S3 minus S2. So efficiency is equals to um, we can say that uh, heat absorbed by work done. Heat absorbed by work done is equals to. Heat absorbed is that t3 s3 minus s2 this is heat absorbed t3 s2 s3 minus s2 and work done is that process that is work done you can write it a t1 s4 minus s1 minus t3 s3 minus s2 equals to T3 by T3 by um, T1 minus T3 is equals to by T2 
one minus t two. So this is the efficiency or COP. Sorry, this is COP co coefficient of performance. COP is equals to t two by t one minus t two. This is uh, the um, COP of reverse Carnot cycle. So already we had discussed and the reverse Carnot cycle and um, if this video helpful for you you can like this video and uh, if you want to get more mechanical videos from this channel you have to uh, subscribe this channel thank you